Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel. This is Robert from Horizons. Um, first of all, I just want to say quickly, I'm very sorry guys, this channel has been uh, just without any activity for, for some time, but uh, there's been plenty of the reasons, a little bit of the family, I have little kids, uh, well, you can figure it out. However, I'm back and there will be more videos coming. So stay tuned, subscribe if you didn't, uh, check out our other, vi other videos from the channel and uh, well, enjoy. Today I'm gonna go to talk about some very, very cool plugin from Toontruck. And I'm not going to do a, a detailed tutorial or, uh, or walkthrough. I will do another video about it. This will be a shorter video. This will be highlighting one of the coolest thing I, I like about uh, EasyBase and this is the video about it okay so let's just jump right into it because the focus is on you guys it's not about me so let's not talk blah 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 here we go i am in uh, presonus studio one and uh, i already preloaded uh, two two instruments one of them is easy keys which is from tune track as well and this is the easy keys and the other one is the easy bass which i already mentioned okay and uh, what I want to show you guys is the situations where you started writing songs, whether it is uh, some uh, keys in my in my uh, situation, it is piano, uh, or you just did progression with some synths or strings, it doesn't really matter. And then uh, you are looking to start the bass. Now, uh, for me personally, I'm not a bass player. Uh, Pavel from Horizons, he is actually a guitar player and he also knows bass. So he can go ahead and just hook up his bass guitar into audio interface and record it. Well, I can't. And uh, in my case, if I write uh, my songs, I'm just uh, stuck with uh, VST plugins. And uh, let me tell you, Easy Bass is the best out there. I mean, I 100% recommend it, guys. And as I promised before, I will make another in deep, uh, detailed video about it. Um, but anyways, let's go back what I wanted to tell you. Um, so we do have this piano progression, which I just generated by uh, presets at the moment. And it sounds something like this, but let me just pull out the volume down because for some reason this software records the uh, voice from the AW very loud so I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit and uh, just listen to piano for a moment So we have this uh, very interesting uh, kind of darkish progression over here. And now the fun part. So let's write the bass. Well, let's write. If you don't know how to, then this function comes to help. And uh, we open the easy bass plugin. And there is a tab over here. It says drums and keys. Okay. You just select this, this tab over here. Now, um, I actually already did that before, but I'm going to hit new for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. And uh, so when you open originally this tab, you're going to be presented with this window. It says generate accompanying bus MIDI. So what we need is a MIDI file. And well, how do we get it? Well, it's easy. Go back to your project. I'm just going to close it for now and click on that piano part. OK, select it and then click uh, right button on your mouse and there is an export selection right over here so just click that and it's gonna give you an option to save your MIDI file somewhere in your computer in my case I'm gonna just save it to desktop but very important information over here type you have to change the type to MIDI okay you want to save it as MIDI and I'm going to save it to my preset which I did uh, before it's j name it whatever you want to name it well it's in my case it's test easy bass piano and uh, I'm gonna just click save replace it yes okay cool now uh, we have just generated MIDI file which is on our desktop we go back to our base plugin easy bass 
uh, to that tab which I told you about before. So the tab it's called drums and keys and again we have the options here. So obviously from what you can see here you can uh, you can use a MIDI uh, of keys so anything like piano, strings, whatever or you can also use a drum MIDI file but in our case we're gonna be using uh, the keys. Um, anyways you're gonna hit select MIDI file or you can even drag it I'm just gonna click select MIDI file open and I'm gonna take the MIDI file which I just generated uh, moments ago and open and it's gonna give you by default the drum uh, lines but you wanna change it over here on top of it on the left corner change it to keys okay and this is basically two option generated bass in this case one is more simplified the other one is more complex and uh, you can also edit them yourself if you would uh, drag them over here into the groove section in the plugin you can actually modify them by your liking but for the purpose of this quick tutorial i'm gonna just uh, use the pre-generated uh, file you can also play the files but i'm not gonna do it now all i'm gonna do is grab the simplified one and i'm gonna hold the left uh, button on the mouse and just pull it up to my easy bass plugin truck so right there okay cool I can close it for now and what just happened is we first generated the MIDI file from the piano and then the easy bass uh, plugin generated the MIDI uh, all, or basically wrote the bass part for us without us doing it it's it's really cool guys I mean let's be honest okay this one is a simplified version the other one is the more complex I can get to it in another video but uh, anyways we have the bass now I'm gonna solo it and I'm gonna guys uh, make you listen to just the bass part at the moment uh, what the software generated for us okay let me just pull it down again and here we go just let's listen to the bass part <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we have a bass part and we have a piano part. Now I'm gonna actually play them both and let's listen to the magic. cool very cool it's a simple progression on a bass guitar but sounds great it sounds like it's supposed to be there you know it just fits into this uh, little mix uh, I just love it I just love it and uh, I'm just gonna open it again go back to the the default window in this plugin and just keep looking on the bass guitar over here I'm gonna play it one more time as you can see the chords are generated according to the original piano and it shows you the chords which are being played on the bass over here very cool guys so this is what i wanted to show you in today's video and uh, don't worry i will make another one uh, where i will explain more options which you have in this amazing plugin and if you have any questions, if you if you want to leave any comments, please do so. I'll be very happy to answer anything. And I'm looking forward to the next video. Thank you very much for supporting uh, for supporting us, for watching the videos, for giving us like or dislikes. It's up to you guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be back very soon with next video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.